is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is pat i'm a full-time reseller i uh, got a thrift haul and we're gonna go over what sold week 37 so if you guys enjoy this kind of video please hit the like button it would mean a lot to me and we're just gonna get right into it we'll start with the thrift haul as usual it's all men's clothing but um i'm actually gonna show you try to show you every single piece and uh talk a little bit more about it so we're gonna get right into it and um yeah so on average i paid about three dollars and 73 cents per shirt um, my local Goodwills have what they call the good friend membership, which you pay 25 bucks and you get 25% off the entire year and everything in the store. Um, some added benefits to that are sometimes they'll send you a text and the text I got yesterday was all shirts were five for 15. So basically it came out to about $3 a shirt. Uh, Columbia. I love picking these up. I talk about these pretty much every video. Uh, they're PFGs. I found four of them, um, relatively quick movers if you price them right. But like I said, under four bucks, I don't mind. Next up are some Brooks Brothers. These are like bread and butter shirts. I get anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, there's like the button down. And here's the polo. This is a little different style tag. And they all have the, um, I really only pick these up when they have, where is it, the little sheep logo. Um, sometimes like the button downs and button fronts don't have them, but they still sell pretty well. Here's another Regent, Brooks Brothers Regent. Another Brooks Brothers. And I uh, found two Charles Tierwit. I think I talked about these in my last video. There's the tag. This one's a slim fit, which I only pick them up that they're slim fit or uh, extra slim fit. Or like this one is a non-iron slim fit. And uh, I didn't say this last time, but the blue tag, it does say, I don't know if you can see it there, it says weekend, which I think is like a style, but I haven't really noticed uh, too much of a difference in price. But still, not a bad shirt. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, another bread and butter shirt. I sell all day for 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, this is a Polo Ralph, or this is a Ralph Lauren rugby. I don't think I've ever came across one like this, so I'll have to do some research on that, but either way, uh, another Ralph Lauren classic fit, older tag. The regular Ralph Lauren's will do better than the Polo Ralph Lauren's. Uh, Tommy Bahama, another bread and butter item. This is a cotton long sleeve button down. Uh, Tommy Bahama jeans, not the greatest, but uh, some of these shirts, like two or three of these shirts I had to add together so I would get the full discount, and this was one of them. Um, I love finding these. I actually found a bunch of these at Ross, brand new with tags for 10 bucks a while ago, and they all sold out pretty quick. So I always pick these up. It's um, Under Armour, but short sleeve. Here's another brand, uh, semi-vintage. I think some of the other styles are vintage. Jane Barnes, and then there's Jane Barnes menwear, uh, menswear. Let's see if you can see it there. Not, I don't find these as often anymore, but uh, Robert Graham. Last time I found these, I think I found like six or seven together, and then I found like one or two after that. Here's another good one. Brooks Brothers, um, what is this? Red Fleece. And then they have like Golden Fleece too. There's the tag and that one, and I think I found two of them. There's the other one. So I don't know why you can't really. Either way, uh, more Ralph Lauren. Here's one of those shirts that I just kind of threw in because I thought it was cool. I didn't really look up comps, but Fender, like Fender guitars. Got a pretty cool pattern on it, 100% cotton. Uh, Bonobos is another good brand that used to actually do well. Now, now when I find them, I hope I put them in lots. Like I still have a couple online that I'll I'll pull if I find similar sizes and lot together. Uh, I think this is vintage. I'm not sure. It's a Jack Nicholas uh, polo, but it's got it's like a three or four three four button polo, which usually they're like three, and this kind of goes down like half the shirt. So this was another one of those filler shirts that I just kind of threw in. Uh, another good brand, Hermenegildo Zegna. Used to be really well in ties, um, button downs, button fronts. Let's see if it zooms in. This I think is a larger size, 2XL. Uh, RVCA, these move super quick. If you price them right, I think I get like 18 or 20 bucks for these real fast. Uh, Panhandle Slim, this is actually a Panhandle Rough Stock, but it is a Pearl Snap. So I'll pick up these in Pearl Snaps. Uh, the vintage ones I, I, I tend to stay away from, but in some case, I think I might have bought one one more. Um, this is a cool brand. Vintage is called On the Brink. I found a, one of these shirts, or two of these shirts. I, still, I think I still have one listed, but last one I found of this, I think sold for like 25 or 30 bucks. Um, not a great seller, another filler one to get the discount, but Wrangler, uh, Pearl Snap. This is a 3X, so it's a bigger size, short sleeve. Still 12, 15 bucks. It's another good brand. You can find them clean. Brand is Travis Matthew, or Math Matthew, however you want to say it. <laughs> a few more left. Peter Millar. This is a summer comfort. It's a button down, or button front long sleeve, rather. Uh, Peter Millar overall is a great brand. 
another Z or Manigeldo Zegna, different style tag. And last is, is a Plains Western. So I really won't pick these up either because they don't do too well, but this was like uh, another one of those fillers. So now we're gonna hop into sales and show you what I sold last week. All right, so last week had 36 sales for a little over a thousand bucks. Got six items to show you guys today. Most of these are actually from Ross, uh, like this first one. I found two of these um, Columbia non-PFG, just Omni Shade Sun Protection shirts. Uh, larger size, 3X. See MSRP here was 70 bucks. I paid 10 bucks a piece for these at Ross. Um, I think these had the yellow sticker if I remember correctly. So they were discounted like two or three times. And they probably didn't sell maybe because they were a larger size. But I found, like I said, both of these for 10 bucks a piece. Uh, this one sold in less than a month for 30 bucks plus shipping, uh, 4.95 shipping. And I also found this uh, Vineyard Vine shirt with those other two Columbia shirts. This is a little bit bigger of a size, it's a 4XB, classic fit Tucker shirt. Um, MSRP on this shirt was 115. I listed this for 30 bucks or 35 on sale for 30 bucks plus shipping. It took about a, a month to sell as well. Um, found these two at the same Ross um, Cretans Rose Moroccan body cream. Uh, well, originally I wasn't going to pick these up because they were a pound each uh, and I only found one then I found the second one and I decided to pick them up. Uh, like I said paid six bucks a piece but I lotted them together for 40 and they both went in a priority regional rate A box which um, ships at a two pound rate and I think this was actually over two pounds with the box and all the stuff. So definitely take advantage of the regional rate A and even regional rate B boxes if you know, you're ever shipping something that heavy. Uh, if you don't know what they are, there's a link in the description to all the boxes from the post office, which are absolutely free. Next I found, so between like two or three different Rosses, I found uh, all five of these. Tree Hut, um, Moisturizing Body Lotion, Tropical Mango. I actually found a different style, which is was this Coconut Lime that I sell in three packs because I found a lot more of these. But I only found five of these and I decided just to lot them all together. I paid three bucks a piece and these also went to regional rate A box for $8.50 shipped. So still not a bad flip for 40 bucks shipped. And next, um, I got this little Roman soldier statue from my grandfather. Um, we downsized him about, so we moved him out of his house like uh, nine months ago, downsized, got rid of a lot of his stuff that he just didn't need. And this was just one of those things that used to sit on a coffee table. Um, he gave it to me to sell. It took uh, about nine months to sell, but I got, you know, 150 bucks plus shipping. Um, it was really heavy, so it went FedEx for, I think it cost me like 12 bucks to ship through FedEx. It wasn't really sure what the price is at, so I had a price kind of high, and then I just kept dropping it a little bit, you know, every other month and uh, sold for 150 bucks. But A Santini is the, um, the maker, I believe, it says on here somewhere. <laughs> See if you can see it, but it was made in Italy. Yeah, Sculpture A Santini. I found and sold another one of these. This actually took a week to sell. Um, these are my favorite to find because it's e they're easy to spot by this like curve in the front. Um, easy to test. You plug it in, make sure it opens, throw a DVD in there, and, you know, what, obviously when you get home, but I paid four bucks for this. Um, no remote, sold for 40 bucks. This actually fit in a uh, regional rate A box, the skinny long ones, and this shipped out for eight bucks as well. Um, again, with electronics, if you can, I say this in every video because it's important, I think, to take pictures of the serial number and any other, you know, identifying marks that, you know, any, if anybody bought yours to replace with a broken one and sent you the broken one back, at least you can kind of prove with photos that, you know, this one was yours. Just a tip, um, that's gonna, so that's really gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the video again. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.